Okay, I'm back out here in my shop today. I'm just kind of out here cleaning up a little bit, straightening up. Uh, my shop's been really messy lately with all the projects I've got going on. Uh, but I wanted to take a minute to shoot a short video and address some problems, uh, or at least some issues that are coming up. Not really any problems, because they're nothing to fix. I just want to make uh, sure everybody knows what to do. But I've had a few emails where people have got their machines uh, you know, they got their, they got the plans from me, they built their machine, they got it all set, ready to go, and they start jogging it or getting ready to run it, and they've got something going the wrong way, and, and I've had several emails where people will say that when they, uh, go to run the program, when it's, uh, supposed to go down, it's going up, and when it's supposed to go up, it's going down. Okay, if you set your settings by the, uh, the screenshots that I put in one of the other videos. Uh, if you set it up like that, you should have that when you press your page up button on your keyboard, it should go up. When you push your page down, it should go down. And I'm guessing that it's probably going backwards for some of these folks. But anyway, because uh, you know the emails I'm getting, the questions are about when they run their program. It's like when it's supposed to go down, it's going up, and you know now it's cutting in the air, and then it's going back down when it's supposed to be going up, or going down when it's supposed to be, you know, going up when it's supposed to be going down. So it's just running backwards. So it's a real easy fix, and I'm going to purposely mess mine up just so you can see how to do it, and then I'll then I'll turn the camera around and show you what I'm changing here. But I can just check a box on the Z, and now I'm hitting page up. And you see it's going down. And now I hit page down, and it's going up. So I've got it going backwards. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the camera around here on the screen just for a sec, and you can see exactly what I'm changing here. Okay, I hope I've got this where you can see. What you have to do to reverse the Z, or reverse any axis for that matter, but in this case, I think everybody's always talking about the Z. You hit, come up here to the top where it says File, Config, whatever. You hit config and you come down to like looks like about the fifth sixth one where it says homing slash limits you click that and you'll notice right here there's some x in checks in some of these things well it says reversed and if there's an x in it that means it's not reversed uh but if it's uh like here's my z it's got an x in it so it means it's not reversed well obviously it's going the wrong way because when i push the page up I want it to go up. When I push page down, I want it to go down. So all I simply do is come over here and change that to reverse it, and then I hit OK. And now when I hit my page up, it goes up, and when I hit my page down, it goes down. And you can also notice the uh, the negative here. That will tell you another way too. See if I hit down, see how this number it's a minus and it keeps increasing. And if I go up, now it's going back up towards zero. So that's a real easy fix and you can do that with any of the axes if for some reason you you know you get them screwed up and they're not running the right direction just come here to that homing slash limits and just click the uh, switch to switch it the other way and you don't have to go into your controller box and switch any wires or anything like that you need to probably try to stay out of there uh, so you don't uh, mess up something else that, that might need repair so uh, but anyway that's a real easy fix uh, and that's uh, the easiest way to do that. So if you've got it set up, you know, you follow the, the things. And I don't know, I, I, you know, it could be that everybody did follow the, the directions perfect. And maybe for some reason not all the motors are wired the same or something. I don't know. But for whatever reason, if your Z is reversed, just make sure that you've got the, the correct thing here, either an X or a check. Which, you know, if it's going backwards, just change it to the opposite of whatever it is, and that'll, that'll fix the problem. Okay, I'm going to try to talk about another uh, question I've been getting a lot of emails on. Uh, when you're programming in VCAR Pro, uh, and if you're trying to do an outside profile, well, you know, it doesn't matter whether it's rectangle, square, or whatever shape, doesn't really matter. Uh, here's what I think is happening, uh, or really I think I, I know this is what's happening, is if you bring in a DXF and you go to click on these lines, you notice how these three are all, it's considering these three lines as one vector, but 
or one entity I should say but these two aren't even included in here so if you don't have these joined you know if you if you skip that step and don't join these VCAR Pro when you go to put the toolpath on it can't figure out what's inside and what's outside and that's why it'll cut some of it one way and some of it another way so just to get show you how that works you can see I've obviously left a, a big gap here just for this demonstration but if I highlight all of that now I've got it all highlighted but it's still not joined and then I come over here to put the toolpath on it and I tell it to go outside uh, cut conventional and I calculate that you can see how I get you know it does these three it goes around the outside and then it gets here and it's like well wait a minute let me go inside here and then it comes back outside but it's all screwed up it doesn't know how to handle that it only knows what's joined so you can see how the tool pass here are obviously offset and this one's on the inside it's it's all screwed up so let me delete that tool path let me come back over here and let me swipe all of this to highlight it and then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to hit join so that now when I highlight this now you see it considers all this one entity even with that gap in there so it's all one entity so now if I highlight it all uh, and click this and I tell it to go outside just like I did before now you can see it puts the correct tool path on there uh, I can even preview it although it's it's slow as heck out here on this this computer but well uh, I'll let it go but anyway that's that's the thing you got to make sure you do and another thing you, that will give you problems is if you're trying to do an outside profile that really needs to be a closed uh, profile so if you've got a gap or something in there that may cause you some problems too particularly if you don't join it um, but you probably always want to make sure you've got things joined another thing that will give you problems is if you draw a line and you let's say you come here and you draw another line here and you come over to you know you've got lines on top of lines that's another thing it, it, it'll confuse this and it doesn't know what it uh, what it needs to do because that double line really really throws it off so make sure when you whatever kind of CAD software you're drawing in or even if you're drawing here in the VCAR Pro uh, drafting portion of it over here make sure you're you're good about keeping your your drawing very clean in other words no double lines no lines where they're hanging over uh, you know that kind of thing they all need to meet at the end points they need to be closed and they also need to be joined if you're going to put the uh, the profile on there so I think maybe that will clear up some of the problems I know I've had guys say well man I'm trying to cut something and it's cutting on the inside when it should be on the outside and cutting on the outside which should be inside you know uh, and that's what it is you've got to make sure you don't have some little line or something uh, not exactly right but now if we come back over here this has gone all the way through uh, let's see let me turn this on there you can see that well it went back off there this computer is so slow I think it's not on I click it again and I've turned it back off again but yeah there's uh, there's the profile it's cut on the outside but this is after these two lines were joined with these so that now it thinks that all five of these lines are one entity and that's what you have to do to get it to cut right if I wanted to go back and change it uh, here you can see here's the uh, the profile and you can see the little arrows that show the tool path and they're clearly on the outside it starts right here goes up and around on the outside of the part now if I wanted to redo this and let's say I'm going to tell it now I'm going to go on the inside and I'm going to calculate that now you can see how it's all moved and it's kind of cut on the inside but but it's all on there it's you know it's not half on out and half in it's all on the inside so that's what you have to do folks make sure you got the join command use that highlight everything that you want to be a complete entity and then hit the join command and hit OK and that will lock it in and the best way to tell is if you got something joined right is because if you come over here and highlight it and you know part of it's not lit up not highlighted then you know something's not joined you need to come back highlight what's not joined and then hold the shift key down and highlight that and then hit this join command and then and then hit OK that would it would say join if this wasn't already joined 
But that's how you do it. Okay, I hope everybody squared away on how to get the Z switched around or, or an axis that's running in reverse, how to get that reversed. Like I said, it's really easy to do. Uh, you know, just check that little box and hit OK and then hit it again and it'll go the right way. It's all you're doing is reversing it. Uh, and also, I hope everybody's uh, getting along with their either VCAR Pro or Cut 2D. Cut 2D basically works the same as the VCAR Pro, it's just you can't do the B carving or engraving and stuff like that, but other than that, it's basically the same. And I did want to say uh, I have recommended that to a couple of people because they've spent so much money uh, buying all the stuff for their machine, you know, getting the stepper motors and you know, lead screws and all that stuff. And you know, like I said, it was about a thousand bucks on the build that I did. Uh, so if you want to start with just the Cut 2D, that's like 149 bucks. Uh, and they do if you decide later on to go with the VCAR Pro I think they give you like a you know some kind of a break if you're a registered user of Cut 2D and moving up to the VCAR Pro you get you know you get a discount for that but for 150 bucks you can't beat it it's uh, you know it'll get you started learning how to program uh, parts uh, you'll be making some really cool stuff with your CNC and it's it'll be what you need to get going so I did want to mention that uh, you know you don't have to wait and save up your money to buy the the B car Pro because I think it's if I remember right I think it's like five ninety nine you know kind of kind of a little pricey I love it though it really is great stuff uh, you can do so many things with it but if you're mainly going to start out with just uh, cutting 2D parts which most people probably are then cut 2D will work fine and like I said it's 149 bucks I think so good deal there. Uh, anyway, that's going to wrap this video up. Probably got a little longer than I intended, but uh, I usually do. Every time I say I'm going to make a short one, I get long-winded and uh, just trying to make sure everybody understands what I'm what I'm trying to show them. So, if you got any more questions, any any more difficulties, whether it be with V Car Pro, Cut 2D, uh, you know the machine parameters or whatever, send me an email. We'll get you straightened out on it and uh, get you up and running. Uh, I really appreciate all my new subscribers. I've had, uh, man, I, don't, I just, I lose track. I just, I just seem like every time I check my phone, I've got a new subscriber there. It's, uh, it's awesome. Uh, really appreciate that. Uh, so anyway, if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do. And don't forget to check out the website. There's a link down below. Lots of free plans, uh, you know, that kind of thing. Pictures of what I make and stuff like that. Uh, so anyway, be sure and check that out. And until next time, we'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching.